guys both know that that could stay the same. It could change. I mean, there's no guarantees. It's it's going to be whoever gives us our best chance to score points and win games week to week. Did you ever have any doubts uh, after that second interception about about changing that and going to McCaffrey? No. And then I know it's early, but kind of how do, how do you project this week um, going with that? Is it it why is Wiley still the starter? Are you going to kind of open things up and see where it goes? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna watch this film. We'll talk about it as a staff. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll get back to you on that. But right now, I mean, there's just, there's no need to panic. There's no, there's no panic button that needs to be pressed. There's no jump to anything, right? Like we were exactly where we wanted to be with a team from the SEC West. We had our chances and we didn't get it done. Um, it's as simple as that. Like we're going to watch this film and see opportunities all over. Uh, but the other thing you have to do is you have to take your hat off to Sam Pittman and the way he prepared his guys. And again, they, they were at the same spot we were entering the fourth quarter, 17-17. And they ended up uh, turning into a boat race and running us off the field a little bit there at the end. You know, we had some guys cramp up. We had some injuries, and um, we weren't able to uh, to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them for 60 minutes like we planned, like we wanted to. And uh, I sure didn't help. Uh, it looked like Rosner came out pretty early. You had a couple guys uh, banged up. Um, do you have any update on, on those guys? And you were <laughs> playing uh, down a couple men by the time you got to the end of the game. Yeah, we were. And, and, you know, that's always going to be the case when you when you play these uh, opponents, the big opponents. Uh, you, you always just hope to come out really healthy. You know, you, you want to win the game. And, and we thought we had a real good chance to. And obviously we did get into that deep water in the fourth quarter. Uh, but, yeah, we got some key guys that are banged up, really banged up right now. And uh, we'll see what the doctors say and, and get some tests done. And we'll have more information at the presser on Tuesday. All right, and I did want to ask you about your defense, uh, particularly in the first half. Sean Fresh, first career reception, um, really stonewalled him except for a, a big touchdown run by a 250-pound guy. Um, how do you feel about their, their performance overall and what they showed you against a, a physical team? Yeah, I think that, uh, gosh, it was a really good performance by them. And I don't know what the numbers are going to show in totality now. I guess they had 373 total yards. Um, but that first half was a thing of beauty. They had that one drive that you just mentioned where we let them extend a, a drive on a third and long where we missed a sack and then missed another tackle. Uh, but for that, and then the long run to end it by that same large quarterback that you described, um, we played really, really good in the first half. We had five three and outs in the first half. I mean, that's dominant defense. Uh, we were doing a lot of things to form and uh, really proud of those guys for, for the way they fought and knew they'd be good. And then, in the second half, you know, the turnovers put them in some horrible situations, uh, you know, deep in their own territory. And, you know, it's not the not the end of the world for us because we talk about putting the ball down. We talk about the opportunity that is getting to go in the game and uh, they're not into their end. Uh, so we got to get better at that. But there, there's very few things in that first half that we're going to look at our defense aside from that one drive and not be really pleased. Now, there will be things that we got to improve on in the game um, and we will. You know, we're going to we're going to make some corrections. We're going to have some tough conversations and, and learn from this film on Monday and we're going to grow from it and then we're going to go forward. What was your message to the team after this game? It, it was, was really that, that we're going to stick together and we are going to uh, make these corrections. We'll take the critical coaching because we are too good to to let this game beat us again. You know, I will make the point to these guys that the biggest growth of a good team should come from your first year, second game. And I'm going to count on our leaders to ensure that that happens for us. Dudley, do you have a question? Yes. Can you talk a little bit about what you saw from Jalen Catalan? Had a couple of interceptions and I think uh, 12 tackles. Yeah, I, I just went up and grabbed him after the game and hugged his neck and just told him he's as good as we played at safety. Um, you know, we. Yeah, I thought he did a good job roaming around back there and, and taking some of those balls out of the air. But the other thing he did an incredible job of is, is what you'd seen on film previously, and that was him coming up and smoking dudes running the football. You know, I mean, the ability for him to fill um, and, and make plays not be efficient from the post safety position is, is what makes him really special. And, yeah, those two turnovers, they were uh, certainly a feather in his cap today. Also on the large quarterback, Jefferson, uh, just what did you see out of him and uh... – you know, obviously uh, didn't have much experience, but seemed to get better as he went along. Yeah, I think he did get better. But the big thing he did is is he challenged the heck out of us when, every time he ran the ball, right? Like he uh, 
averaged 9.9 a carry. And, and that is a large human over there. Now, as you talk about him in totality and how he threw the ball, you know, I'm, I'm sure they'll work on him completing more passes and some of those things. But I also think our defense did a good job keeping him under duress. And I think our guys on the outside, for the most part, did a good job covering. So uh, I, I don't think there's uh, anything to be alarmed about if you're a Razorback fan. I think KJ does some really good things and gives them a lot of opportunities to extend plays. And, uh, you know, at the end of the game, he, he did a lot of things with his feet uh, to keep the chains moving. You seem to be able to take Burks out of the game, though, with your defense. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, you know, we knew what a great player he was. And, you know, all the talk all week had been whether he'd play or not. And uh, then yesterday we heard for sure he's going to play. And, you know, I don't know if he was 100% or not. That's a question for him or, or the Arkansas coaches. But um, we knew we had to put an APB out on him. He's an All-American for a reason. He's a really good football player. We wanted to know where he was and have a great plan. And I think Brian Smith had a great plan for him. And then there were a couple exchange issues in the backfield where, you know, he, he maybe could have got out on some of the jet suite stuff. So I guess maybe uh, sometimes it's better to be lucky and good. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Anything else for Coach? Thanks, Coach. Thank, Thank you, guys. Bring Wiley Green up.